What are the best exercises to get in shape after years of inactivity? That's exactly what we're going to go through today. I'm Alicia Jones from Alicia Jones Healthy Living and for over 15 years I've helped transform the health and lives of women over 50 through fitness and weight loss strategies. And today we're talking about the five best exercises for women over 50 if you're just getting back into shape after years of inactivity or after time off or an illness where it feels like you've had years of inactivity. And in fact, you and I, we are going to be doing this together. I'm gonna to walk you through each and every one of the exercises. We're gonna take our time with breaks in between because I am just finishing up this workout myself. What I mean is a few months ago, I got COVID and I was hit really hard. I was out completely bedridden, fever, unable to eat and nauseous for two straight weeks. Near the end, if it wasn't letting up, my husband was starting to talk about the possibility that maybe I would have to go to the hospital. Thank goodness, on my birthday, March 27th, my fever broke and I was on my way to recovery. But recovery doesn't come right away, does it? Especially when it comes to trying to add back in exercise and getting back into a routine. Just finishing my work days alone was really exhausting. By the end of the day, I wanted to go to sleep. I gave myself the time I needed to heal, and when it was time to actually get back into weight training, this is the program that I did. It was incredibly simple. And I have to tell you that when I first started it, I could only do one set, one complete set of this workout. I take time in between, and quite frankly, every single repetition that I did, it felt as though the energy was being sucked out of me. I felt really tired and I needed to sit down in between. Gosh, I'm not selling this workout very well, am I? Okay, let me get back onto the good point of this. The thing is, is that I didn't beat myself up. I didn't say I used to be so much stronger. Uh, I can't believe this is where I am now. No, it's a process and I understand very well that as long as I keep on doing the work, I go slowly and really listen to my body, I'm going to get back to where I was. I hope that helped you. I know it helped me through that time and I'm really excited to show you this work, this workout moves. Actually, we'll be going through the five best exercises to get into shape after years of inactivity or a long time off or being ill. You'll need your weights and I'm going to do the workout with you. Let's get started. So we're going to use this as a workout and not just the best five exercises and that way you can follow me to do the workout. You're going to want to start by grabbing a weight and grab a bottle. What I mean is take your hands just like this and place them around a weight, any size that you want. If you are feeling still unsure about weight size, then choose something really small. So for example, I've got twos over here, you can still do that with the two and hold on to the bottle just like that so that you're holding on there. And we're gonna do a front squat. So that means that every time you place the weight down, it's gonna come in front of your legs, just like this. This mimics everyday movements like putting boxes down in the ground or even planting. So let me show you from the side. Feet shoulder width apart and bring your bottom back as you come down go as low as you feel comfortable. If you don't feel as comfortable to go as low as I'm going, that's not a problem. You can take it only as far as you feel comfortable and then rise back up again. Your bottom goes back as you do this and it's almost like you're wanting to place that weight on the ground each and every time. So this is a front squat, feet shoulder width apart and coming down as low as you can and bottom going back, shoulders roll back and down. And you'll notice this is a really everyday movement. For example, you're gardening, you're putting down the planter, you're picking up boxes in the way that's gonna keep your back protected. Or maybe you're lifting up a piece of furniture so that you can vacuum underneath it. That, those are all ways that you're gonna be using this fabulous exercise. Exhale up and inhale down. The reason this exercise is so wonderful besides mimicking everyday movement patterns because it's a toe all the way to head exercise. You're toning your legs, 
getting your legs strong and your thighs strong, your bottom lifts, your abs are working to stabilize your body and keep you steady. Shoulders are rolled back and down, you're working those under bra muscles known as low traps, your back muscles are holding you up, and your arms are working. So really this is a full body exercise, and you start by doing just 12 to 15. Whatever amount feels most comfortable for you, this is the one that I remember it took the most energy for me to do out of the exercises. So if you're feeling that way too, hold on tight. Hold on tight. We're almost done. Let's do one more here. That's it. Notice how my knees are over the midpoint of my foot, which means that I'm in proper alignment. You wanna make sure that your knees equal to the shoulder each and every time you come down. And then from here, you're gonna turn on a timer or I'm gonna turn on the timer. We're gonna wait one minute before we go on to the next exercise. Exercise number two, the best exercise for inactivity. The reason being you wanna have time off in between so that your muscles can get strong again. If you're brand new or you have been sick for a while, you're gonna to wanna to sit down in between the exercises. If you're watching a TV show, you might want to catch up on what was going on. Whatever the case may be, you're going to do that in between. Allow your muscles to replenish their energy. And then we're going to go on to the next body part that has nothing to do with the legs. Give the legs the time they need to heal and relax. We're going to go on to the upper body. We're going to go on to a row. You'll notice we're hitting big muscle groups here. So we, we touched the legs all the way down and really the whole body on this, this movement that took the whole body. And now what we're gonna be doing is working another huge muscle, all of the muscles in the back. All right, one minute is up. Grab weights, grab light weights because if you haven't done this in a while, you're going to wanna make sure that you can get through the exercises with 15 repetitions. So here we go, one leg is gonna go in front of the other and gently bow down, just a little bit. Weights come to the front of the foot. We're gonna do row. Slide your elbows along your sides, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then come down with the weight. It, this is all about pulling your neck tall, which means your shoulders are rolled back and down, coming up the weight, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then come down. Squeeze the shoulder blades and come down. Exhale as you come up and inhale down. Sometimes people get caught up in the breathing. They say, oh no, am I supposed to be exhaling now? I guess I'll inhale. The important part at first is that you're consistently breathing. That's one of the big reasons that you hear people talking about breath a lot. If you hold your breath, that's known as the Valsalva maneuver, it could increase blood pressure. So we don't want to do that. So just make sure you're exhaling and inhaling. Full range of motion and a slight bend in the joint. Notice how slow I'm going and steady. That's it. Let's do one more. Perfect, okay. Once again, we're gonna take a minute off. So shake out the muscles. Grab the timer if, you have, if you're doing this workout on your own, and you're gonna turn it on for one minute. We're gonna wait one minute, and then we're gonna start on the next exercise again. So we've done the lower body and the full body with that squatting exercise. Then we really focus it, focused on another big muscle group, the back, that's number two. Number three, we're gonna focus in again on a big muscle group. We're gonna do the back of the legs and the bottom again. This is a double whammy butt legs. This is called a deadlift exercise. And the reason that this exercise is so powerful, especially if it's hard to get down and up or exerting a lot of force with the legs or your legs feel weak, it's a wonderful exercise to do to continue to strengthen your legs. But the back of the legs, the hamstrings, they tend to get really tight but weak. So we wanna lengthen them and strengthen them all at the same time. So let's do that. Let me, oh, that was exactly the thing. Perfect. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna grab a lighter weight here. Grab the weights and place them on your thighs. Shoulder width apart, roll your shoulders way back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. 
in this position. Bow down, come down, weight in heels, and up. Roll the shoulders back. Bow down, weight in heels, and then come up. So it's as though you're a robot. When you do this exercise, it's so important to feel that you're a piece of steel, that you are literally unable to move any of your upper body. I bow down, notice how my shoulders stay rolled back. Those weights are sliding along the thighs. With this one, over time especially, it's easy to want to round. It also feels kind of nice, but it's actually really hard on your back. So you've got to make sure that you're lifting your chest, pushing into your thighs, and lifting up before you go down. Perfect range of motion, fabulous. Taking your time with the exercise, slowly up and down. And the benefits, again, for the legs, for the hamstring, for the bottom. And when you come up, you're working your back. So you'll notice all of the exercises that I've chosen are exercises that are tend to hit a lot of big muscle groups. At first, that's always what you want to do because you're toning more and you're getting the help from the other muscles to, to also help you with the strength. Which means if you do a little exercise, like your biceps or your triceps, the back of your arms or the front of your arms, it might feel like you're doing a lot to tone, but in reality, it's all about the big compound movements that are best for you. And then just a little bit of toning at the end to feel good. <laughs> all right, and that is it with that one. So that was the deadlift. So timer's on again. We are going to do, we're going to do one minute of rest and let's recap. You're gonna start with the squats. It's a compound movement. Focus on legs, but it's a full body movement. Then after that, you do the back. Helps pull you back, posture muscles. And at the same time, as you're working your back, you also tone the arms a little bit and the, the tummy as well. Then from there, we're going back onto the legs. Give the upper body a bit of rest and we're gonna do those deadlifts. Now it's time to do those little movements that might not necessarily be giving you the best bang for your buck, but heck, they feel good for toning, am I right? So we are gonna do a bicep curl and a tricep extension. Let me get the weight and let me make sure we've done a full minute. We've still got 10 seconds and I really wanna make sure that you have your full minute off. Take that time, even if you don't want to, you can walk back and forth, get some Fitbit steps, <laughs> Get some Fitbit steps and let's do this. Okay, here we go. Feet shoulder width apart and shoulders roll back. Palms face out. Exhale, come up and inhale down. Exhale, come up and inhale down. That's it. Again, we're going for 15. The shoulders stay rolled way back. And as you're tall with the spine, that means that as you exhale, blow out like you're blowing through a balloon and your abs get tight. So this isn't about sucking in the abs. You don't want to do that. You want to pretend you're blowing out of a balloon. When you do that, there's force inside of your stomach. It's called intra-abdominal pressure. That creates the strength in your abs. That's what you're looking for. Notice how I always have a slight bend in the elbow to protect the joint. And the movements are slow and steady. If you find yourself swaying as you're doing this movement, then you're gonna wanna ease up, change weights, or stop. You don't need to hit all of the repetitions. Okay, exhale up, and inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. And let's do one more. And then you know what I'm gonna say. We're gonna take a minute off again. A minute off. So, you have done all of the compound exercises, the big muscle groups. You've also done the muscle groups that are now going to be toning, and that is all you have to do. We have one more exercise. This will make exercise number five the last one in your workout, and these are seriously the five best exercises you can do to start to get in shape 
If you've been active, inactive for a long time, or maybe you're just coming back after an illness or coming back uh, and you just need to get back into it slowly and gradually. Like I said with this workout routine, I only did it once. That was it, one set was enough to mean that I was going inside, because I was doing it outside. Uh, I was going inside and I was lying down after that and relaxing, maybe stretching. That was it. If you feel that you can do more, great. You can turn on this video and do it again and again as many times as you want. But if you feel like me, how I felt afterwards and you just need some time off, then take the time off. One set is a great place to start. Okay, that was exactly one minute. All right, now we're gonna do the next one. I'm picking a very light weight with this one and I'm holding on to both of them by the handles just like this. We're gonna work the back of the arms. I love this one. Reach up with the weights and bring them behind your head. Let's hold it here for a second because this alone feels like a nice stretch. Let me show you form as well. You're tall with the spine, tuck your tailbone under and then relax. That just creates a natural arch with the spine, something that is gonna support the movement and keep your back safe. Now, let's go into the workout. Exhale up, you reach the weights up, and inhale down. Exhale up, and inhale down. So if you're just starting and this feels wobbly as it is, then what you're gonna do is put one weight on the ground and support the opposite hand. So let me show you what I mean. You're gonna take this hand, you're gonna reach it up and gently hold on the back of your arm. Especially if you notice that this arm, it starts to move. So if you're new and you're coming out like this, then just gently hold the arm there so that you can get into safe and proper motion all the way up and all the way down, just like that. Perfect. I'm gonna switch sides now. If you are using uh, one in each hand, keep on going. We're gonna continue. I just stopped halfway through. You would do that too if you're switching with me one arm. And exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And inhale down. Perfect, one more. Great, excellent, that's it. You've got your squat, you've got your row, you've got your deadlift, you've got your bicep curls and your tricep overhead extensions. That's it, workout complete. And that is how you start. You can do this video once or up to three times, whatever works best for you. I'm so excited that you're getting back into shape. I am so excited that you've seen this video and I cannot wait to hear how you do. Write in the comments below and let me know how it goes. See you soon. Bye. For more motivational fitness and nutrition tips to make your 50s and beyond the healthiest and most vibrant years of your life, visit AliciaJonesHealthyLiving.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.